Here you go. There's Officer Abbott again. He uh, just redirected a couple of people who were sitting at a bus stop that were loitering. Uh, this area in the center here, this is open to the public. You can come out here, uh, but they don't want you loitering on the bus benches. Uh, typically, again, he'll make his rounds. Uh, he's got another VIA employee following him, shadowing him today. But uh, they'll, he'll make his rounds. Usually he's across the property every 15 minutes or so. So, uh, that's what what he does. I'm currently in the smoking area. Um, I don't want to interfere with what he's doing. I do have some questions I'd like to ask the lady. But, again, you know, that's um, whether she chooses to answer or not. I can't make her answer. Uh, we'll see if, if she's willing to. So again, um, she's observing what Officer Abbott does, and Officer Abbott's doing what VS Security does down here. And again, uh, if you're waiting for a bus and you need that bench, um, you don't want someone sleeping on it. You want to be able to use it for the bus. Uh, a lot of people know about the video where I was underneath here waiting for a bus when I was told I couldn't wait here, but I was actually waiting for a bus. But these are these are the types of things, like I said, uh, people sometimes misunderstand why or what I do. I'm not against security or police. They're, they're doing their job. They're effective at what they do. And this is what he has to do all day. Um, and again, via security lately uh, has been a lot better than they were two years ago. They're a lot more personable. Um, and again, if you do this job um, down here, you're going to have to become a more personable guard or uh, you just become a totally miserable person. You have to learn how to speak with people on a regular basis. So, I'm sorry, what's that? Did you see that nice message? The what? He soiled all of himself. Yeah. Well, yeah. how are you doing today, man? You just you shadow in Officer Abbott today. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of doing the same thing. And Officer Abbott was pointing out the man had soiled the bench, basically ruined it for anyone else coming out here. So again, when people say, um, you know guards pick on certain people or whatever, there's a reason that they don't want them loitering on the bus benches. Um, and they can do that professionally or they can do it in a rude and nasty manner. And again, if you have to tell the same guy the same thing 15 times, I may only catch the one time where you're having a bad day telling him that. But, um, you know, again, uh, guards need to be polite and professional the entire time. So, so I've been sitting here, and Officer Abbott started this polite and professional, and the guy's getting kind of nasty at this point. Um, but this is this is what happens. So I'm gonna pause this real quick. My job's not to really focus on him; it's to focus on Officer Abbott doing his job professionally. Um, so, but again, part of their professionalism. Uh, is keeping this safe for everybody. You'll see backup is coming out. And that's the right thing to do. Now, you may also notice I backed further away. Simply, I don't want to be in an area where there's going to be an incident. I don't want this guy getting pissed at me for filming either and coming over and assaulting me. So I just back up, do my thing. Here you got security. And again, hopefully this resolves itself. The female who's shadowing Officer Abbott really should have displaced herself a little bit further from the situation as well for her own safety. But uh, again, that's something that 
she'll learn if she shadows security guards far enough or long enough. So, at this point, they've moved him off the property. He's leaving the property. No need for me to follow him there. Um, and again, this is what security guards at Via Centro do. Uh, and in this case, again, excellent work from Officer Abbott here. Okay, now it was reported to me that they were telling people they can't charge their phones here at these either, unless they're waiting for buses, and that appears to be the case. I am going to ask Officer Abbott about that. Um, you know, maybe talking to the board about putting in some charging cables or something for other people that aren't at the specific bus stops because, again, people come down here and they're going to use that. They use the Wi-Fi over by that other building as well. Um, it's just what people are going to do. So this lady over here, just charge, she's charging her phone as well. Uh, these charging stations are underneath these benches. They're awkward to get to, and a lot of times they don't work. But, again... It was something that Via put in. If you look at the top there, all these solar panels go to powering that. And it was sold to the community based off of that, that it would be available to the public. But now Via is stating, see, she that one didn't work, so she's going to go try a different one. Um, but now Via is instead of it being available to the public there you go that's she's she's where the the charging box is now now if you look at them from a distance you can see where the box is if without having to bend over and, and look down there but um if you get up close you just got to look under there either way uh these these are again uh put in uh, we the taxpayer paid for this and, again, uh, what it comes down to is uh, Via is basically saying that, well, once this was supposed to be for a public, open public forum, the entire thing, then they've restricted it to certain parts only being for people riding the buses uh, and other things. Um, that's a problem. I mean, it, it truly is. Uh, and I'll be talking to the board about maybe uh, getting some funding to get these uh, maybe put in some stations over here by the smoking areas to charge. Now, this is a scene where uh, the unlawfully arrested me for being on this public sidewalk right outside of the Joint Law Enforcement Center. Uh, very clearly, um, the property for VIA starts at the building. Uh, and this is in the Bear County Appraisal District. And the rest of this is listed as a public easement. So, uh, either way, of course, they lost that in court. People who fight them win. They don't care. Uh, they do have a lawsuit against them at this point. Uh, hopefully, part of that condition of the lawsuit will be to, to get them to acknowledge that uh, these are public rights away and that uh, they can't trespass people from public rights away but uh, we'll, we'll get into that another day so um, got a big sign up here saying facility is closed now and for whatever reason the facility is closed it says uh visit the Central Plaza's community room in Building 2, which is around the corner. That's where one of the other officers had went into. Um,
here comes a guard coming back across the street. Maybe I'll be able to get his word on charging your cell phones. And I believe it was Steel Street who brought that to my attention. They were doing it, but I'm not usually sitting over there, so I didn't notice that. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah, he's not exactly friendly looking. Didn't appear like I was going to get an answer from him, so I didn't bother to ask. <laughs> 